from the slums of Belleville. This is Tanks Vlog. Brought to you by Allow Me to Be Frank. Today's date is January 14th, 2019. Allow Me to Be Frank is that weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. Tune in. We should be dropping new shows shortly. And uh, coming this uh, baseball season, we'll be focusing heavily on the fortunes and misfortunes of the New York Mets. That's allowed me to be frank on SoundCloud and iTunes. <sighs> Usually, Divisional Weekend is the best weekend of the year when it comes to NFL football. You got four of the best playoff teams playing. Four best uh, playoff games, I should say, being played. Eight teams, but this year, what a letdown. Only one of the games was really close. I mean, you had two games that were mm, sort of close. The NFC games were a little closer than the AFC games were. But overall, it was just not great football. And that is especially true in Foxborough, where the New England Patriots absolutely destroyed the Los Angeles Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers. I mean, hell, that was the Los Angeles Retreaters. Los Angeles Stupid Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers. When they see the Patriots, they shit the bed every day. You know that Philip Rivers is gonna blame everyone but himself. Pointing fingers at the receiver and always whining. The Chargers always flop and more because that's the Charger way. Los Angeles, stupid Chargers, Los Angeles, Chargers, suck, 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 suck. <sighs> it doesn't matter what city the Chargers play in, they blow it every year, year after year after year after year after year. That's to charge your way. And it wasn't just Tom Brady today. It was Sonny Michelle. Sonny Michelle ran wild over the uh, Chargers. 129 yards rushing with three touchdowns. Tom Brady basically, though, is sitting in a friggin' rocking chair. He has no pressure on him. And the Chargers, do they even think, as the, as the Patriots are going down the field with ease, the Patriots are going down the field with ease, do we change up our defense? Nope! Of course, Patriots only had two field goals in the second half yesterday. They put the car in the garage and basically started, okay, let's start focusing on the Chiefs. And then the uh, Chargers scored a lot in garbage time and uh, made the final score 41-28. to Though that game was truly ugly, 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 ugly. Later, it was the New Orleans Saints. <sighs> you know, when are teams going to learn? You can't take Week 17 off if you got the bye. The bye is your rest. And, and the Saints came out extra flat. The Eagles were 14 nothing. That game was on the verge of imploding in New Orleans for the Saints. And then Doug Peterson made the fatal mistake. Of course, Nick Foles, he threw an interception. That was, eh, it was kind of a, trying to throw up a page, trying to like put the stamp in the game, trying to just like give a knockout blow up 14 nothing. And the Saints got the ball back. Their offense is not doing anything. They get stopped on third down. In their own territory. Just 30 inches though. 
and they got called for holding. Now, you could have sent them back third and 11. And the way you're playing, you got to stop them at third and 11. The Saints, meanwhile, needing a jump start. They're flat. They're not playing well. They look like they're rusty. They're out of rhythm. Yes, you didn't. You, play, you basically took two weeks off. They send in Tyson Hill with the punt unit, and he runs it, gets the first down, and the Saints are on their way. They scored on that drive and end up uh, trailing just at the half, 14 to 10. They took the lead in the third quarter and never looked back. Final score, Saints 20-14. to 14. Eagles suffered a lot of injuries again. You know, two years, great runs. Eagle fans should not be disappointed. And I'm talking at you. I'm talking to you, eat that pussy. EDP44. You know, someone actually called me the white EDP. You saw I ran about the Mets. And I ran about the Dolphins. I ran about my teams. God damn it, your team won last year. Be fucking grateful. Be fucking grateful that the Eagles finally won a Super Bowl for your ass. And no, you're out there saying that they suck. They suck. They battled this year. They had a dozen injuries. They played with a lot of heart. And I hate the Eagles. I hate the Eagles. But you're an embarrassment, man. Come on. I'm not saying give them a free year. But you won a championship. Shut up. If I ever got the Mets another championship, if I ever got a Dolphin championship, you notice why I don't really rant that much about the Devils? You notice the Devils, I'm a Devil lover. I love the New Jersey Devils. You know why I don't rant that much about the Devils? You know, sometimes I get a little pissed off. But I got three championships I enjoyed. Three of them. I'm grateful for those. I'm grateful for 25 great years that the Devils gave us. And we're a little down now. But I know we'll be back. I'm confident. I can't say the same about the Mets. I can't say the same about the Dolphins, whose owner is actually worse than Fred Wilpon. Worse! Worse than Fred Wilpon! You got a championship. Be grateful. You got a team that played a lot of heart, a lot of soul. And this year, when you're down and out, they fought back, showed pride. They won three straight games and won a playoff game. And you were out there crying about the damn Eagles. Give it a break. NBA, speaking of NBA, Nets are playing well this year. You know, it's a little surprising. But I know they're not that good. But, damn. LeBron James took on his former team, although LeBron James is injured. I should say LeBron James' current team took on his old team as he's still recovering from that uh, Christmas groin injury. And it was the Cleveland Cadabras beating the Los Angeles Lakers. Woo! So that tells me LeBron James is going to go all eat that pussy on his uh, Laker teammates. What the hell are you fucking doing? Shit, man! But that was a great win for the Cleveland Cadabras, 101-95. And you know who likes that win even better? Nick fans. See, the dream is real. The Knicks have got to get the number one pick. For the sake of basketball in New York, I'm a Nets fan. I'm not really a Knicks fan. But God damn it, I'm tired of watching shitty NBA locally. So I want Zion Williamson at Madison Square Garden next year. I want to see a superstar. Maybe I'll even become a Knicks fan. I don't know. I've never really been that loyal in the NBA. But I want exciting basketball. I am tired of the same crappy teams and nothing good happening to New York. I want Zion Williamson in New York. And what makes it even better is that the Knicks lost today. 
108 to 105 to the 76ers. That's a good loss. Knicks are now 10 and 33. Every loss is a win this year for the New York Knicks. And every win is a loss. It was the Toronto Raptors remaining the top team in the NBA, beating the Washington Wizards in overtime 140 to 138, as Kawhi Leonard had 41 points and 11 rebounds, while, while Bradley Beal had 43 points, 10 rebounds, and 15 assists in a losing effort. It was the Milwaukee Bucks 133 114 winners over the Hawks. And what has gotten in the Orlando Magic? First, they beat the Celtics, and now they beat the Houston Rockets, 116-109. Despite a 38-point night from James Harden, who had 9 rebounds and 12 assists. It was the Warriors edging the Mavericks, 119-114. 48 points from Steph Curry. And the Denver Nuggets beat the Trailblazers, 116-113. Nikola Jokic. 40 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists. Switching to the NHL, it was the Hurricanes doubling up the Predators 6-3. It was the Blue Jackets scoring 7 goals to beat the Rangers 7-5. Nice game by the New York Rangers. They really played really good. A lot of... It was Brian Little scoring in overtime as the Winnipeg Jets won 4-3 over the Anaheim Ducks. Yuck! That's 11 straight losses for the Anaheim Ducks. It was the Islanders. The Islanders absolutely shocking the Tampa Bay Lightning 5-1. Big game by Kyle Clutterbuck to lead the way. It was the Canucks 5-1 winners over the Panthers and the Flames torching the Arizona Coyotes 7-1. Today's three stars are Sonny Michelle of the Patriots, Michael Thomas, who had 12 catches for 171 yards, including the go-ahead touchdown pass for the New Orleans Saints against the Philadelphia Eagles. And Bradley Beal, who had a hat trick and a losing effort for the Wizards, 43, 10, and 15. <sighs> Today's birthday shout out goes to Stephen Piscotti of the Oakland A's, a former player for the St. Louis Cardinals who joined the A's last year to be closer to his uh, dying mother. Uh, had a great season in Oakland. He turns 28. And we take a look back 65 years ago, 1954. A wedding that was one of the classic Hollywood weddings, brief and short, that married a sports icon with a Hollywood icon as Joe DiMaggio married Marilyn Monroe. Of course, the, wedding, the marriage only lasted a few months. But the uh, love affair lasted forever. I mean, DiMaggio was always there trying to get Marilyn back over the rest of her life. After she died, he was omnipresent at the funeral. He actually did a lot of funeral arrangements, kept a lot of the Hollywood people away. And uh, psh, sent flowers to her grave twice a week for the rest of his life. So check out the full story at Barstool Sports. And at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives in the sports. Don't forget to listen to Allow Me to Be Frank on SoundCloud and iTunes. Good day.